In today's video, we will learn how we can derive the Darcy Weisbach formula and the Chazy's formula. First of all, we'll derive the Darcy Weisbach formula and then we'll derive the Chazy's formula. We consider a horizontal pipe which is having steady and turbulent flow. This is the pipe. This pipe is horizontal and it is having steady and turbulent flow. In the center, this portion is the control volume. And we are having two sections. This is the section 1 1 and this one is the section 2 2. Here, the fluid pressure at the section 1, that we call it as P1 and P2 is the fluid pressure at the section 2. V1 is the velocity of the flow at the section 1 1 and V2 is the velocity of flow at the section 2 2. And we are considering that the diameter of this pipe is D. From this direction, the fluid enters into the pipe and from this direction, the fluid comes out of the pipe. Here I'll just write fluid out and here it is fluid in. Then we'll consider friction. Now friction will act in opposite direction to the fluid motion and that frictional resistance will denote it using F dash. So here F dash is the frictional resistance per unit weighted area per unit velocity. HF is the loss of head due to friction and P is the weighted perimeter of the pipe. And here this weighted perimeter is equal to the circumference of the circle which is pi into d. We'll apply the Bernoulli's equation between the section 1 1 and section 2 2. The Bernoulli's equation is p by rho g plus v squared by 2 g plus z equal to constant. Here we'll have to consider the head loss due to friction between the section 1 1 and section 2 2. So we'll have total head at 1 1 which will be equal to the total head at the section 2 2 plus head loss due to friction between the section 1 1 and 2 2. And we have already denoted our head loss with HF. We'll just apply the equation for section 1 1 which will be P1 by rho g plus V1 squared by 2 g plus Z1 is equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2 g plus Z2 plus HF. And here we are having horizontal pipe which means that Z1 will be equal to Z2. Also the pipe diameter is not varying between the section 1 1 and section 2 2. It's just the same. Therefore, we can write V1 equal to V2. This will substitute in our equation P1 by rho g. Now V1 squared by 2g and V2 squared by 2g will get cancelled. And Z1 and Z2 will also get cancelled. We'll be left with P1 by rho g is equal to P2 by rho g plus HF. Let's write it making HF as the head of the equation. So it will be HF is equal to P1 by rho g minus P2 by rho g. And taking this as LCM, HF will be equal to P1 minus P2 by rho g. Then I'll just multiply rho g into HF. So it will be rho g HF is equal to P1 minus P2. Let's just consider what all forces are acting on the fluid between the section 1 1 and section 2 2. The first one is pressure force at section 1 1. Pressure is equal to force upon area and force will be equal to pressure into area. Therefore, we get at section 1 1 the pressure force will be P1 into A. Then at the section 2 2 we will consider the pressure force. We will just write it as pressure force at section 2 2 which will be equal to P2 into area. 
then the third force that we'll consider is the frictional force which will denote it as F1 let's just resolve all these forces in the horizontal direction here P1 is having this side of arrow P2 is having backward arrow and the frictional force also has backward arrow which means P1 A is positive P2 A and F1 are negative then we'll find the frictional force or we can call it as the frictional resistance this will be equal to F dash F dash is frictional resistance per unit wetted area per unit velocity into the wetted area into square of velocity wetted area which means we'll consider the circumference of our pipe therefore it will be pi dl that is f1 will be equal to f dash into pi dl into v square v which is the velocity pi d we have already denoted here it's our weighted parameter we'll write it here f dash into p into l into v square we'll just substitute the value of F1 in this equation P1A minus P2A minus F1 is equal to 0 F1 we have got it as F dash PLV square taking area common we get P1 minus P2 into A is equal to F dash PLV square then P1 minus P2 will be equal to F dash PLV square divided by area in our previous equation, we have already got the value for P1 minus P2, which is equal to rho GHF. We'll just compare both of these values. Rho GHF is equal to F dash PLV square divided by A. Let's make HF the head of the equation. So we'll get HF is equal to F dash upon rho G into P by A into LV square. First of all, we'll just find this P by A. P is the weighted parameter, which is pi D and area is pi by 4 d square here this area is the area of the pipe before the area that we took was the circumference we had considered because we had to consider the weighted area this 4 will go up will be left with 4 upon d therefore hf will be equal to f dash by rho g into 4 by d into l into v square which is equal to f dash by rho g into 4lv square by d now this f dash by rho is equal to f by 2 and here this f is the coefficient of friction f dash we call it as the friction factor and f is the coefficient of friction now this hf will be equal to f by 2 g into 4 lv square by d this will write it as 4 f lv square by 2 g d this equation is known as the darcy's Weisbach equation for head loss due to friction there are some things that you need to remember for your competitive exams let's just see that here we have 4 f lv square by 2 g d which we can write it as f dash into lv square by 2 g d which means that f dash is equal to 4 into f f dash is the friction factor and f is the coefficient of friction the other thing that you need to remember is when we write the coefficient of friction in terms of the reynolds number f is equal to 16 upon re and RE is less than 2000 which is for the viscous or the laminar flow as F is equal to 16 upon RE therefore F dash will be equal to 4 into 16 upon RE which is 64 by RE and we have F equal to 0 0.079 upon RE raised to 1 by 4 where the Reynolds number varies from 4000 to 10 raised to 6 which is for the turbulent flow now let's just derive the Chazy's formula 
while deriving the darcy wiesbeck formula we had got this hf is equal to f dash upon rho g into pi dl upon pi by 4 d square into v square which is equal to pi dl is the weighted perimeter and pi by 4 d square is the area of the pipe now we'll use one new term which is the hydraulic mean depth or we call it as the hydraulic radius it is denoted by small m m is equal to a upon p a is the area of the pipe and p is the weighted perimeter which is pi d so we get this as a by p is equal to d by 4 therefore hf will be equal to f dash by rho g into we have p by a here we got m is equal to a by p therefore 1 upon m will be equal to p by a which is into 1 upon m into l into v square will make v square as the head of the equation therefore we'll get v square equal to rho g m h f upon f dash into l which is equal to rho g by f dash into m into h f by l and we get v equal to under root of rho g by f dash into m into h f by l now this rho g by f dash under root of rho g by f dash is equal to c and this c we call it as the chazy's constant and then we also have hf by l which is the hydraulic gradient which we denoted by i we'll just substitute this and we'll find v v is equal to as under root of rho g by f dash is equal to c so it will be c into under root of m into i and this equation is known as the chazy's formula this way you can derive the darcy wiesbeck formula and the chazy's formula thank you